Guys, I have something amazing to show you. Oh, it's a bag. But not just any bag here. It is a bag full of MP3 players. Now, if you're going, oh, what's an MP3 player? This would be an MP3 player, you know, an iPod. I actually love iPod. I love this iPod. It's the fifth. It's the fifth gen video, thirty gig, uh, fifth gen, right? Yeah, fifth gen. Uh, it has video, photo, and music capabilities. Has some games on it, you know, basic iPod. But I love this thing. It's so. It's just. It's just tiny. It's just so perfect. Now, iPods, they all have the same idea, you know, the click wheel and the screen, but they may come in different shapes, like this bad boy, the iPod Nano 2nd Gen. Um, this one's coming in at a, a crazy amount of 2 gigabytes. That's just insane storage. You can store totally a trillion songs on that. Anyway, but it basically looks like a baby version of this. I know it's, like, rectangular. It looks just like an iPod Mini, actually, which is way bigger. Um, but they kind of look the same. And, um, they also come in this, you know, colors. This also came in colors. I just have the classic gray one. But, you know, they got the lime green one here. This one is, I actually don't know. Eight gigabytes. Oh, there you go. This is the four, fourth gen, uh, iPod mini. And they're basically the same size. It's just this thing is incredibly thin on the sides. Like, this is the thinnest thing. You, you might as well be clapping right now with nothing in between. It's so thin. Now, if you don't know these designs, maybe you'll know uh, this design, the iPod Touch. You know, no camera, just the Wi-Fi antenna. I don't know, shiny back here. I actually don't, eight gigabytes, okay. Uh, but, you know, got the home button. I don't know why the power button's on this side, on this model, who knows why. And it goes right there. You know, it's another design that they made. It just, you know, plays video. It had an app store, though, because it runs iOS. This one. These don't run iOS, if you don't know. They run iPod OS or whatever it's called. Uh, or Music OS. I don't know what it's called. But this runs iOS. It basically does the same things. Video, music, uh, and photos. Because it does not have a camera yet. At least on the second gen iPod Touch. And I have another one that kind of looks like this. You know... It's the iPod Shuffle first gen with the with the lanyard here. You put it around your neck, you know. You jam all day, put your headphones in, you know. There you go. Oh, yeah, have some fun with that. But if those people out there that have really, really good eyes, if you can tell, yes, this isn't the real uh, iPod Shuffle first gen. This is the MP3. The format made it itself. Yeah. And uh, no shuffle on the iPod shuffle, fake off. It's just off and on. Oh, this battery is actually dead. But, you know, you get the point. Uh, let's turn it off. But, yeah, I think on the real one, the outside or the inside, I think it's the outside buttons have are, are, have a tint color to them. Also, yeah, you know, you know it's quality when the buttons stick out and you press one down. Yeah, but the cool thing about this, because the normal shuffle first gen, I think, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure it only came in 512 gigs. You see this one, it has no built-in storage. You have put an SD card in it, which is really handy, because you could probably fill this thing up to 32, 64 gigs. And handy thing about this, uh, look at that. It's no uh, uh, 30 pin. It's a USB, plug it into your Mac, plug it into your PC, plug it into your Linux, it doesn't matter. Anyway, the thing about this is that I, because it's a fake and there's no storage on it, I got this for so cheap on eBay, brand new. And I'm pretty sure it was like, oh gosh, I can't even remember, maybe a dollar? I don't even think, like 50 cents or something. But they had, they had a selection called Candy Colors, and you know I had to get... Oh, the candy colors. <laughs> it's just because I think all for five of them, it was five dollars. Yeah. So they were each like 60 cents, which is just so cheap. Like this is like a music player, you know, but I mean, at least they should like for one, it should be five dollars. But you know what? The shuffle didn't have first gen. It didn't have different colors. Oh, this one still has battery. Nice. 
But yeah, Ugh, I got all of them and I'm never gonna use all of them, but it's just, you know, collectors. Now, sadly, I do not have a shuffle second or third gen because, well, I actually just don't and I didn't really find them interesting. I know they're just buttons. I don't know. I like collecting the cool ones, not really the lame ones. Don't get mad at me if I say that. It's just, you know, it's just like a button, but that's what this is. So why would I need another one that's not cool as MP3? Anyway, but you know, these are cool and all, but you probably want to see the weird, wacky MP3 players, you know? So get these out of here, mate. Don't worry, there's a carpet over there. And I'm putting the one with the hard drive down nicely. Anyway, but because I don't have a actual second, third gen shuffle. Oh, I got a bootleg one. <laughs> or at least that's what I thought. I remember a long time ago, I found this and then we let it go. So I'm gonna say I got it a couple days ago when I really found it, but it was brand new when we found it. So I got the headphones for it and the charger cause it's proprietary. I know it says USB, but you know, we cracked that open, it's proprietary. Um, Anyway, uh, but who knows how old this thing. I grabbed the charger, I dropped it, and you know those little barrels around the end of it? They're probably like, I don't know what they're for. I'm not that crazy into tech, even though I probably should know what they are. <laughs> the plastic around it just cracked, so it's very old and brittle. But look at this thing, I was like, oh, cool, shiny MP3 player, you know? Oh, it's got the buttons on its side, so it's just a shuffle fake off, you know? With a card slot right there, because, you know... It's cool. Anyway, that's what I thought. And I charged it up. And I turned it on. And... Oh, it's got a screen. I mean, it's not touch. But look at that. It's got a screen on it. Ain't that interesting. And you push this and you can go in the menus. Look at that. How do I get out? Oh. Oh, you hold that down. Okay. And right, what if I hold this down? Hold. Yeah, now the buttons don't work. Cool. Push down again. There we go. I thought that was so cool. Anyway, the only thing I, I don't, it says no card because I don't have the card that goes in it. But it did ship with two gig, or at least that's what was in the box when I found it a long time ago. And I still have that card. It's just, I'm pretty sure it needs to be FAT32 formatted for this to work. So that means it's pretty, pretty old. Anyway. I don't have a Fat32 card sitting around right now. I'd have to format and put my music on it. So, but I thought that was cool, huh? Now I have another fake off right now. I have another one here and this, I mean, you could say it's not a fake off cause you know, it's a sand disc and like, how's this an iPod? I'll tell you how it's an iPod. Those two look alike. Okay, just listen to me. It's got the fake click wheel, okay? It's got the same screen resolution, just just squeezed, if you, I swear. Except this one's got volume buttons, which is cool. But the thing is, it's going also off if I had a um, iPod shuffle, second gen right now, I would be showing it. That's what this is also going off, because you know, if you forget the screen, it's just the design, and I think the second gen was about this size, and the second gen had a clip on it. Um, it didn't have volume buttons though, which I think is really cool for this. Anyway, it also didn't have micro USB, it just had aux. That's it. That's how you charged it and stuff, which is pretty cool. But this one uses micro SD, uh, micro, U micro USB. But it also does have micro SD with, I think, 7 gigs built in too. So that's a little handy. You get 7 gigs if you don't have a card, but then you can pop in a card there. I think it came with a, car a 32 gig card actually for a little bit more money. I think I opted for that, but you can get, still get this brand new, the, what's it called? Clip Jam MP3 player by SanDisk. You can still get this at Best Buy for like 30 bucks with a 32 gig SD card. So that's pretty good. Anyway, I think these guys like, come on, look alike. And yeah, it turns on. I charged it. I lied. Come on, turn on. Yeah, there we go. All right. This thing's actually pretty confusing when you get into it. Oh, look at that boot. I think it's cooler than that other Samsung who dicky? I don't think so. I think the stars are cool. All right. You got your little menu here. And finally, for once, a bootleg that has a proper OS that runs on it. Because I see many 
that have a list that go up and down, kind of like on the side, like a BlackBerry, and they still use side-to-side -side controls. But with this, it's actually proper side-to-side -side controls. And when you go in settings, or is it settings, you can actually use the down arrows. Isn't that amazing? Useful. That's what I can say. Um, it has music. This has a radio in it, too. This has a little radio. And I know they have another one, which can view photos. A little bit bigger screen, I know. Folder, because it has inbuilt. Uh, SD card, which is for the SD card. Sport is stopwatch and timer. Yep. Oops, no. Stop. And that's it, really. But what more do you need? But the only weird thing that I think is weird about it is how you shut it down first I, it took me a while to figure it out anyway you gotta hold the back arrow down stop you gotta hold the back arrow down until it says that don't do anything then when it's back here on the menu you hold the middle down and then it shuts down i don't know how that works but you know what it's fine but now we're talking about new stuff that was all the old ipods but they still make them and they still make them. These two are brand new iPods. This one was a 2018. I know they have a 2020 already, but still. It's still literally, oops, it's still literally the same thing. And then this, I think, is the same model because it doesn't have the thing there. So these are literally the same thing in two different colors. These are awesome too. They are both dead. Don't judge me. But another one that I think is a better value than getting one of these, I mean completely honest, yeah, is she? Uh, is this little my my? Is this little guy? It's an iPod fourth gen. And look at it. Where's the brightness? Come on! Oh my gosh! There we go. Um, but look at this little thing. It's so thin. Look how thin it is. Wait, let me. Yeah, it's thinner than the red, the newer one. Hey, anyway, look at this. Who? doesn't love iOS 6. Who doesn't love the iOS 6? It's like so awesome and just like, it's so smooth. This thing is so smooth. Anyway, you're not here to look at a real iPod. You're here to look at bootlegs. Now you guys might not agree with me with this next bootleg, but I would agree with myself. It's the Samsung, Samsung, whatever model it is. Stop, girl. Get out of here. I fudge. All right. Anyway, these two compare, first of all, in size. They're the exact same size. And they have the exact same button layout. Power, power. Volume, volume. 30-pin uh, uh, charger. And U micro USB charger. And you see headphones here, but the headphones here. Okay. What is... Who cares? <laughs> Um, but here, see, that's where your info text is, that's where your Samsung logo is, got your camera, this one does have a camera, and a selfie camera, it can do FaceTime, and it still connects to modern iCloud, and can still read email and go on YouTube, anyway, but both have camera, this one's way better, both have microphone, this one's way better, uh, anyway, I never said it was gonna be better, or the same, I just said it's a bootleg, and bootlegs are never as good, anyway, let's turn this on. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, totally not uh, Apple ripoff. Okay, come on. It's obviously a skinned Android. Hey, I'll turn it off. Oh, you got your slide to lock on this one, right? And your camera there. I don't know why there's a volume on that one. I don't actually don't know what that does. Stop turning off. Anyway, you got your slide to unlock. You got your slide to unlock. Oh, it made an unlock sound. Wait, was that just a badly generated this one? What? It has a lock sound to That's just a bad version of... <laughs> no way! <laughs> That's pretty funny. Wait, let me hear it at the same time. I like this one. That doesn't sound like this. Hey, anyway, hey. Right? Yeah, it's just a badly generated one. All right. Anyway, we got our menus here. Obviously, uh, it's not really skinned on the inside. It's just the unlock screen. Hey, 
You got Gmail, you can read your Gmail on here. You got your mail, you can also read mail. Obviously, I'm not going to explain the, the OS features, but anyway, it has a camera and stuff. It can go on YouTube. Oh, oh, the, both of them are uh, unsupported on the app. That is not the actual YouTube app. That's a link to the website. So both of them only can view on their built-in web browsers, which this has far that has Globe Browser, whatever it's called. They can both view photos. They can both listen to music. They can both watch videos. I think these are literally the same thing, okay? You can disagree, and I can too. I don't know if that really made sense, but it doesn't need to. That rhymed, and that matters. I actually, I, I, I love this thing. You know, I've had it for a while now. But I actually test drove this thing. I mean, I use this a lot now. But I test drove this thing. It literally is just a slow, bad version of this. Which is why I'm calling it a bootleg iPod Touch. I swear. I know it's a track phone phone or whatever. But, you know, why would Samsung make a tablet this big? Or a multimedia thing? No, they have to make it a phone because it's Samsung. Anyway, on to the next one. All right. I know the next one is going to take some explaining, but I'll just show you to you. I don't know what else to say. iPod. All right, I know, I, I know you're probably thinking I'm literally insane, but listen to me. You see this, right? Right? Okay. It doesn't have relations yet, but then you compare it to this, right? And you're like, oh, well, you know, they basically do the same things, right? The, you would compare them, right? If you would compare them, and you call this a bootleg iPod, then this is this. They're the same. So then, isn't this a bootleg iPod? Y y right? Anyway, I'll show you right You get out of here. Oh, collided with just another nugget. Anyway, all right. I'll turn you on. Come on. Also, I think dang pods would be proud. It's a Craig. Anyway, um... There it goes. It runs Android, uh, yeah, 4. It's 4. That has 2. Uh, who cares? It's just Android, and it doesn't really change, okay? Apple does. Android doesn't. Ooh, burn. I swear, what they did is they stuck one of those phones right in here, and they're like, oh, let's got it, and, uh, let's hook up a screen this big, and let's put some USB ports here, and... Another USB charging jack there, and an Ethernet right here, and, a, and an HDMI out here, and some headphones, and an SD card, and a trackpad, and a keyboard, and a microphone. And rearrange the camera. They are about the same size on both of them. Anyway, oh, finally it booted. But here we go. Look at this. It's just Android. I swear, it's tablet Android. Wait, where, how do you look at the, where's settings? Settings? Hello? Settings. Uh, where's the, the, the version thing? Where's the thing where you can check the version? About tablet. Android. It's Android. It just runs Android. And because that, this does the same things. It has a camera. It has a microphone. Right there. It, it, it's, it's, I don't need to explain Android to you. It's the same thing. In a netbook side, in that seven inch netbook era when they made this and just reproduced this case and sold it to so many companies, this is just an MP4 player in a laptop shape and some actually decent speakers on the side. Not that loud, but they're decent. Anyway, but this is just a nugget in a big nugget shell. Now the next one. I'm not even sure if this belongs in the iPod bootleg video I'm making right now. But you know what? I'm just putting it in. I mean, it, <laughs> it doesn't compare to any iPods I have currently. Oops, oops, oops. Wait, wait. Technical difficulty! All right, we're back. Sorry, I had some technical difficulties with it. Um, anyway, we're here. It's not like any of the iPods I have. It's basically a remake of the iPod first generation. And my camera thinks this is a face right now. Um, also, did I mention how weird this is to hold? It feels like a 
Dreamcast controller or something that's just badly made. And you got, oh, you got your power, your USB to connect, you got your headphones, and your volume, and your headphones again, and your lock. Um, anyway, let's watch it boot. Go! Yes, and it has, like, an iPod interface. Come on. Boot! Nugget, 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 nugget. Come on. Also, yeah, I shouldn't do that because just spinning hard drive. Oh, the animations. Oh, wasn't that cool? Two thousand, right? Right there. Right when the iPod was released. Here's a little editor's note. The iPod was released in two thousand one, so I'm wrong. Oh, it's booted. There we go. Lib, lib. There we go. There's our iPod looking menu. We got the battery in the top, our thing up there. What it, what, it, what menu it's in. Look at this. Here. This is the click wheel, guys. This is the click wheel. You just keep doing. No, it's just these two buttons. Hey, but all uh, right. Look at that. This is not my music on here, by the way. This is. I still haven't uh, put my music on it. My dad, my dad's friend, graciously gave this to me. Thank you for it. Uh, ooh, aha. Huh? But J James Bond? I, d I don't remember AHA being in James Bond. Uh, but yeah, you know, I'm not going to go through the music, but really it only features like the first iPod, just music. And that's its main feature because that's what people wanted it for. And if you can see, yeah. Oh, search. Oh, okay, the first iPod couldn't do that. Mine is flo Okay, wait, wait, wait. Lib. There we go. Anyway, but yeah, first iPod couldn't do that. Anyway. It runs on batteries. The first iPod couldn't do that either. The first iPod ran on Firewire. This runs on easy peasy USB and batteries. But it did come when my dad's friend gave it to me. It came with uh, rechargeable. That's why it has the charger there. Except those have sadly died since then. But you can see beautiful backlight. Let's turn it off. Oh, yeah. Shutting down. Say bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Oof, that does not sound good. Anyway, this is basically a glorified iPod. Well, I wouldn't call it glorified. It's not that great. Anyway, but that is basically an iPod 1 right there. Also, if you were wondering why I didn't turn this bad boy on, this bad boy on, bad boy on or this bad boy on, it's because, well, this one, the battery's dead, and these two... The batteries are dead, dead, like for good dead. But I was prepared for this. I brought myself a cable. As you can see, it's booting. It's the second gen uh, nano. It's booting. Can you see it? Oh, yes. It works. Come on. There we go. It works fine. The clicker even still works. And this one has my music on it. Yeah, photos. Oh. Yeah. That's good looking. Where's the sleep? Oh, that's the wrong button. Oh. Go to sleep. Before I kill you. And then it just gets stuck on the charging screen. It's so sad. Anyway, you move on to this one. This one's even sadder. It's got some gunky on it. High resolution screen, though, on this one. I like that about it. Are you out of focus? No, it's just the... Is it out of focus? No, it's in focus. Okay. But this one... Oh! Someone turned off the clicker. Or it's broken. Uh, general. So this is out of focus for you. Clicker. Off. Speaker. Oh, no! It's broken! Oh, no! It's come back to life! Yes! Came back to life. Yes. All right. Anyway, that one works. Come on, turn off. Sorry, mate. 
Okay. That one just went right off. All right. And we got the old mate second, second gen. Come on. Yeah. Okay. And I'm not going to wait for it to charge. It works. All right. Yay. All right, guys. It's been a good video, I feel. I got another video on another sad nugget over here. Anyway, but till then, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!